Hey y'all. It's your girl. Hopefully the quality is looking good. I am on my iPad today. He's recording from the Appy or whatever. And stuff and stuff. <laughs> ah, if you went to fam, you you know who said that. Even if you went to Florida State and you used to be at FAMU all the time, you know who said that. <laughs> and stuff and stuff, period. Okay, y'all. Hey, happy Sunday to y'all. I love y'all. Your girl's going through it, so I might look a little crazy, but I also just got done cleaning up, trying to film another, you know, Sunday reset with me video. So pray for me on that because I'm hoping that comes out cute, good, so I can post that today as well. As this vent session, yes, we have vent session number eight. We coming at them strong, real ones. We coming at them strong. We coming at the dough. We coming in the dough. We kicking down the dough. Period. And that's with everything. But y'all don't mind me. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get stuff done, and I also just have a lot on my mind. My wig is not glued down. So that's why I got this hat on. <laughs> so. Um, y'all, I'm just, I'm really just going through it. So, pray for me while I pray for myself, right? Don't pray for me, though, if you trying to pray on my downfall now, because I don't be asking for prayers. So, don't be playing with me, because God don't play my loop. But, no. Nah, if you are a returning subscriber, yo, if you are a new subscriber, yo, and if you are just breezing through, come on over to the real side. We waiting on you. We is, and is, and will, and did <laughs> come to the real side. But yeah, y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Neek Neek, Renique, Joy, beautiful, pretty. <laughs> I'm just playing, but it's your girl, Neek, Renique, whatever it is you feel comfortable calling me. I kind of um, took out red because my boyfriend made me realize nobody don't call me red no more. But jokes on him, though, because people do call me red a little bit sometimes. Every now and then. Every now and then when I'm home and I see somebody from a long time ago, they might be like, hey, red, yo, red, you know what I'm saying? So don't count me out. Count me in. <laughs> but nah, y'all, I'm back. A little crazy if you ain't if you couldn't tell and you knew here you'll love it here <laughs> y'all i am also fasting right now so your girl is about to be snacking on some good old cantaloupe i pray it's good because i really wasn't gonna eat it if you know me you know i am very weird when it comes to food so i had seen something on here and i just said i i couldn't tell what it was so like i wasn't gonna eat it but because my fast is not Oh, my fast over in like 15 minutes. So I could have just ate my leftovers from last night. But I'm going to eat that for lunch. So never mind. I'm going to just eat this because I've been cleaning up all morning. I haven't eaten anything and I haven't drunk in any water. So of course, I'm drinking my good old spring water. It's so good, so cold. And I'm going to take me a sip right now. <laughs> so what y'all doing <laughs> while I'm drinking my water? Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all doing today. <laughs> Thirst out. <laughs> Not for I ain't drink nothing. Don't be like me, y'all. When you wake up in the morning, drink your water. For real, for real. All jokes aside. I actually need to start sleeping with some water by my bed. Well, never mind. Because I be doing that anyway. And I still don't be finishing the bottles. Anyway. Normally, when I do wake up, I do drink me a bottle of water. This morning, I was on 10. I don't know what baby girl was doing. But I was just trying to... I was just trying to get up in that shower, get my face and my teeth together, and get to cleaning because, listen, I see Period is in town, and when, when sis come to town, she act like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know, you know. I'm tired. Anyway, we on been such a number eight, y'all. Ain't that something? I'm recording on my iPad today, though, because... I got some stuff in my phone that I want to share with y'all, right? So we, so the vent session for today is going to be about, I've been seeing these posts lately 
on like Instagram, Facebook mostly and stuff like that about how, let me get it right. How buying groceries doesn't save you money, basically. And how eating out is, is more reasonable than buying groceries money-wise. So when it comes to monetary value, people are saying these days that buying groceries don't make sense. Basically, in a nutshell, that's what everybody's saying, okay? So I absolutely disagree with it. <laughs> Not just because I be wanting to disagree with y'all, but this is a quick side note. A lot of y'all just be following trends. Y'all follow behind what anybody says. Like, y'all don't be having to, like, y'all literally don't be having no opinions. And I'm not saying y'all like my real ones, but like, I'm just generalizing the statement. So don't take offense to it if it's not meant for you. But if the shoe fits, baby, you gotta wear it and acknowledge it. That's just how life works, baby. Sorry. But, um, yeah, like, I feel like a lot of y'all just jump on bandwagons, like, all the time. And it's so aggravating. Like, hold on, let me fix y'all real quick. It's so aggravating to deal with that. Like, all y'all do is jump on bandwagons. Like, oh, I see a post. It says groceries are cheaper than buying out. Oh, yeah. And now everybody in the world starts reposting it. Like, sometimes y'all, y'all selves don't even be believing what y'all be reposting it. Y'all just be posting stuff to fit in. Stop doing that. <laughs> like stop sit there read something and actually question yourself as to whether or not it makes sense when i seen that post that's what i did i was like you know instead of just saying nah y'all wrong and just going off disagreeing with it i actually sat there and i thought about it and i was like mm, i could see that but then I also disagree with it. So I disagree more with it than I agree with it. Now, listen to me. I do understand that the only reason that groceries are more expensive than eating out sometimes is because, one, we as human beings, we be acting so bougie when it comes to things, not remembering that when we was growing up, we had to eat it, period. <laughs> a lot of stuff we grew up eating we don't eat anymore we have become bougie now just a little just a little piece a lot of us have become a little bougie now so we don't want spam no more we don't want sardines and crackers we don't want just plain rice and honey or plain rice and hot sauce or plain rice and any other sauce that can go on it to make it just not rice we don't want rice and spam and corn. Because if you island then baby, you done ate that a couple of times. <laughs> we don't want that no more. So now we start, oh, we want shrimp pasta every night. Oh, we want a home, like, listen. We want steak and potatoes and corn and green beans on this night. And then tomorrow we're going to make chicken and chicken alfredo and bread from scratch. And then the next day we're going to make, uh... I don't damn know, baked ziti. You know, like, I'm just throwing out ideas, okay? Mind you, those are all great ideas for food to last two or more days. Because we being bougie, we try to cook every single night, something different every night, like we eating at a five-star restaurant every single night. If y'all don't stretch that food... Because <laughs> I'm tired. Like, if y'all do not... Humble yourselves a little bit more, baby. And learn how to cook stuff that y'all buy at home by experimenting and having fun in your relationships or with your family. Have family nights and learn how to cook something. We just made a whole piece of the other night. And some wings. I enjoyed my pizza. Bay pizza actually made his stomach hurt, but... My pizza was busted. I ate my pizza. I ate it for leftovers the next day for lunch. And then I cooked. We cooked it the next night. Like, that's just what it is. But guess what? I ate pizza twice. I ain't have to go buy no lunch at Chick-fil-A or whatever have you because I had something I could eat right here. Learn to eat them leftovers. That's one reason why y'all not seeing y'all money for real. Next. Let me eat these. Y'all, I'm scared. Y'all, I'm scared. 
I already prayed over it. Y'all, I don't think I can eat them because now I'm in my head. Alright. I'ma try. <laughs> second. Second thing y'all need to do that actually really helps. I had to start doing this. Really listen when people say stop going grocery shopping when you're hungry. Because you're gonna get stuff that don't make sense. I've done it plenty of times, okay? And in that same thing. Like, it goes hand-in-hand, hand, I mean. Don't go shopping when you're hungry and make a grocery list and stick to your list. Anything else outside that list, baby? Now, that's on you. That don't got nothing to do with your list. That's on you. Put stuff on your list that makes sense, that can stretch. Buy noodles. Buy you about four packs of noodles. I usually do that because I don't have to keep going back to the store. Keep going back to the store. This stuff lasts. Buy you packs of noodles, spaghetti noodles, Alfredo noodles. Buy you the sauces, at least two. Buy you, you know, you can stack up on chicken. It's your preference, beef, whatever have you. Me, I like to go buy my meat when I'm cooking. But it just depends. Sometimes I buy my chicken in, excuse me, like two, three packs at a time. Because that also encouraged me to make my food so it won't go to waste. And then sometimes I just go buy the meat when I'm actually about to make that meal. Um, Bread. All types of bread. Bread always comes in handy. And if you know me, you know I'm a breadhead. This bread and eating bread. <laughs> Period, okay? I don't play by bread, y'all. In real life. <laughs> In real life, I do not play about bread. Bread and water, I don't play about that. <laughs> like, I don't play about that. If you know me, you know that's a fact. Um, what else? Um, sorry. Tuna. If you eat tuna. Tuna is another meal that can stretch for like two, three days. Excuse me. I didn't tell y'all, spaghetti can last you about two, three days. Okay? I can eat spaghetti for three days. I can eat spaghetti that first night for uh, dinner, that next day for lunch and dinner, and then I can eat it that last day for lunch because I ain't eating it that night. <laughs> Period. Period. But spaghetti and alfredo can last you about three good days. I ain't going to cap. That's saving you money right there. Once again, we revert back to the bougie. I don't want to eat leftovers every night. That's y'all problem. <laughs> so stop complaining about stuff that's your, that you are the cause of the issue. If you don't like eating leftovers, then of course it's going to be more expensive to buy groceries because you don't want to eat what's left over, baby. Make it make sense. You got to want to eat that leftover to save your coin. Again, tuna. You can make tuna fish sandwiches. You can eat tuna with crackers. You can make tuna tacos. You can make tuna quesadillas. And this is over the course. So you can literally make three different meals out of tuna for three different days if you really don't want the same meal three times. That saves you money. And tuna fish is only like, uh, I'm going to say about 4 or $5, give or take, for a whole pack of six. So... Um, what else? I'm just giving y'all little ideas. Oh, I already said rice. Now you, oh no, I didn't. I mentioned rice in what we used to have to eat back in the day when we wasn't so bougie. You know me, I'm not a big fan of rice. However, I will eat rice because rice fills you up and rice can last. Rice can stretch over multiple meals, multiple days. Literally, you can eat anything with rice. You can just eat rice if you want. Like, literally. Okay? It's a lot of meals you can make with just rice. Potato stretch. You can make french fries with potatoes. You can make 
um, little hash browns with potatoes. Um, you can make um, baked potatoes. Uh, mashed potatoes in every way. You can make mashed potatoes for a meal. Buy you some canned things that stretch. Canned corn, canned string beans, canned peas. Um, different canned products. That's really all we eat in the can is those three things that I already named. I don't really eat a lot of other stuff in the can. So, But that stretches for me. Get you about two packs of each thing. You're not even going to have to go food shopping for those specific things for about a month or so. Facts, proven facts. And you're going to have food to last you, literally. So all I'm saying is shop smart, not hard. Buy stuff that's going to stretch, and that makes sense. Nothing wrong with buying you a good meal every now and again. Because one thing about me, I'm going to eat. And I'm going to eat good. <laughs> But one thing also about me is when it's time to save, it's time to save. Period. So, if you want to save bad enough, sis or bro, you're going to save that corn. And you're going to figure out what you can buy to stretch. But potatoes, you can do so many things with potatoes like I just named. You can make a KFC bowl, and if you ain't tried that yet... Go back to one of my recent vlogs and make you a KFC bowl. Because you can eat a KFC bowl for about two days. And I say only two days. Really for dinner and then maybe the next day for lunch. I only say that because me personally, I don't like wrapping up my potatoes. My mashed potatoes for the next day. Like They be kind of trippy sometimes. So I don't be with that. <laughs> But you can make that thing stretch if y'all really want to. Put that, make you two KFC bowls that night and put you what one up in the refrigerator. Now you got a whole lunch for the next day and you don't have to go spend your money. You just got to worry about dinner. But guess what? You already got them noodles two weeks ago and that sauce. And now all you need is that meat. Y'all ain't hearing me. Save them coins. You really, when you got to save them coins, you're going to save them coins. That's all I'm saying. Snacks, popcorn, lasts. Okay, popcorn, peanuts. Peanuts are a great snack to curve hunger. Popcorn is a great snack to curve hunger. Uh, pretzels. Y'all see them pretzels over there? Them dots. Let me get it. I already, excuse me. I already showed y'all these pretzels 80,000, 50 lamb times. <laughs> Yin Yang Twins voice, okay? These pretzels are the GOAT. And I'm not capping. I don't cap on here, y'all. I tell y'all the truth, no lies, every time. These pretzels are the best pretzels ever made, bruh. Dot. Y'all want to see Dot? <laughs> dot, girl. You did what you had to do, mamas. Period. Don't let them play with you. Dot, you did what needed to be done. You did what had to have been done. You did what needed to have gave. You did the thing, sis. Period. Don't play with Dot, because Dot ain't going to play with y'all about them pretzels. Okay, but them pretzels are not. Shout out to Beth for putting me on because them pretzels really do the thing. Them pretzels are everything. They're, they're very good and they make you pretty full. Like, I'm not going to lie. If you eat them, eat them, eat them, drink you some more, you good. Um, What other ideas do I have? Any meal that you cook, it needs to be a leftover, period. Like... Unless you cooking something, well, unless you cooking instant mashed potatoes and sis or bro, I'm going to have to encourage you to throw them hoes out. First of all, I'm going to have to encourage you to stop eating them instant mashed potatoes because they actually bad for you. Google it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just giving y'all some help. Because health is wealth. And we all need to be healthy around here. Uh -oh. mm -mm. <laughs> what else? What else? Sorry, I'm over here smacking. I'm messing this fruit up. <laughs> I'm really trying to think of some other ideas for y'all. Oh, 
Hamburger Helper is a good one. I personally, I don't like Hamburger Helper. I never have. I just don't like it. Hamburger Helper is a very good meal to last you about two, three days. Facts. Another thing. Sorry. Of course, you have to be in the mood for this, but say you eat a different breakfast in the daytime, right? Like you eat yogurts and yogurt bowls or like um, some type of smoothies and things like that for your breakfast or like a boiled egg and some tea and stuff like that. If like you can make you some breakfast for dinner, literally, then you can whip out the pancakes or the waffles or um, the French toast and the eggs and the bacon and make you a whole breakfast at night. That saves you money. Like sometimes we also got to eat what we're not in the mood for to save us money. Y'all are out there buying stuff that don't make sense. That's why y'all spending more money on groceries than y'all are eating out. You have to think about it. A whole... You have to think about it. A whole... Okay, y'all. Hello. <laughs> my iPad died. Well, no, it didn't die. My iPad ran out of storage. <laughs> y'all. Excuse me. Anyway. A whole KFC... <laughs> like I was saying, a whole KFC family meal, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I just looked it up the other day, a whole KFC family meal is like $35.99, and that's the cheapest one. And I think that thing come with like six pieces of chicken, but you know what? I ain't going to think no more. I'm going to look, because we're going we gonna to settle this today. <laughs> we're going to settle this today. I know y'all like, this girl crazy. <laughs> No, nah, I just want to help y'all. We all got to help each other. Because if we don't help each other, who going to help us? Nobody. So I'm just helping y'all, man. I'm really trying to help y'all save because I, 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 I'm not understanding how y'all not saving. But you know, on the internet, they be trying not to give you the price of stuff. If y'all don't show me this menu... <laughs> If y'all do not show me this menu today, because now they over here talking, what are y'all even talking about? Show me the menu with the prices on it. Y'all, they won't show me the menu with the prices on it. It's talking about check availability. Bruh. Bruh. All right, hold on, y'all. One second. Because really, like, this is like this is how people make simple stuff rocket science. Like, is it rocket science to tell me the price of something? Well, I'm confused. Y'all, I probably won't be going to Popeye's no time soon. Maybe when I get home or something, but... Mm. Popeye's here in um in Las Vegas. Oh no, ma'am. No, ma'am, no, sir, no Pam, Pam, thank you, turkey, ma'am. <laughs> because when I tell y'all, I might get locked up messing with Popeye's out here. Yep, I said what I said. <laughs> locked up. That's what I said. Cause they rude just like i always tell y'all these las vegas people are really rude like and it came to pass or came up that las vegas is one of the top four rudest cities in america that's really sad that's sad i ain't used to rude we from listen Okay, I ain't gonna say that because a lot of people think up north people are rude, but we not rude. We just blunt and we're straight to the point. It's a difference. Vegas people are rude. They're not blunt, straight to the point, none of that. They're rude, literally, simply rude, okay? Then you got down south where hospitality is key majority of the time. I'm used to hospitality and bluntness, not rudeness. <laughs> There is a difference. So, yeah, we are um, just, you know, here <laughs> with these people that's rude. 
They rude, y'all. They just rude as hell. Especially at the Popeyes. I'm trying to find the meal. All right, we got signature chicken meals at Popeyes, okay? I said it was six pieces, but we gonna go. We gonna go to the 16 piece chicken family meal at Popeyes. The 16 piece chicken family meal at Popeyes is $39.49. So we're gonna say about $45, $47 after tax because they be taxing out there. So I don't know how y'all get. Child, that's another subject for another day. So it's $39.49, but after tax, it's gonna be about another additional $5 to $10. So we're gonna say about $45, $47 is this meal. 16 pieces of their chicken, three large sides, and eight biscuits. No drink, just, which is, that's not bad, right? So you bought $45 on all that food, right? Um, I think the side, three large sides, so I'm just going to say what I would get. I would get red beans and rice, potatoes, and fries. Yep, that's exactly what I would get. And then the chicken. Now, granted, yes, chicken prices have skyrocketed. Mm -hmm. I'm with my people when y'all right. Chicken, everything skyrocketed, okay? However, you can make the same meal at home for like the same price or cheaper. And... The, I only say the same price because party wings are expensive as hell right now. Okay? Um, and even if you want the pack of wings that has the wings in it, that's expensive too. And it's hard to find also. So give or take. Now I'm going to go to Google. Um, now we finna price some chicken. At Albertsons. Okay. Chicken wings, 920. We're gonna go with that. Chicken wings, 920. Um, what else? Drumsticks. Drumsticks. Five ninety. I told y'all I'm drumsticks cheaper. Okay, so we're going to get a pack of drumsticks and a pack of wings, right? And that's about $15, $16, $16. We got two packs of wings and we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. We got 13 drumsticks in one pack, meaning we only going to use... We're only going to use like maybe seven of them. And then the rest are going to be wings, okay? And in the wing pack, you get about eight wings, about eight or nine wings. So we're going to use that whole pack, right? But we still only use seven out of 12, sorry, seven out of 13 of the drumsticks we got, right? Meaning now we have leftovers. Sorry, no, meaning now we have chicken still left to cook for a whole nother meal. We pushing those. Six to the side, because we got six. Yeah, sorry, I'm making sure math is mathing. We got six drumsticks left to the side. We It's in the freezer with it now, right? And now we got our wings that we only paid $16 for. Now we finna look up uh, a bag of potatoes, because that's what I need for my french fries, or you can get frozen fries. Let me just look up frozen fries.
We looking at frozen fries. We do, we gonna go to Walmart with it, see? Cause see, Albert seems to be taxing, taxing on the crate. <laughs> I'm just playing, but if you know, you don't. All right, we gonna we gonna buy do about four seventy five to five dollars for the frozen um, fries. So now we got we had like twenty two dollars because our chicken was all sixteen dollars in total for two packs of chicken. We still got some in the freezer left tucked away for a whole nother meal. Even if it is only, yeah, six pieces, which is a lot. That's good, right? Now we got our frozen fries, which only cost us like $5. So that's about $22. Now we got our rice, which rice is like nothing. <laughs> depending on how you buy your rice so um you can buy rice for 82 cents at walmart rice is rice right i would think so i'm not a rice connoisseur y'all i already told y'all i can deal without it but now my what rice i can't live without is rice and peas and haitian rice period that's spanish rice too but anyway y'all that's besides the point so we gonna take um okay okay say so we want mahatma rice people like mahatma rice they got a big bag of mahatma rice at walmart for 5.24 which will last you a good two months <laughs> like right 5.24 for two months now we had 22 dollars already before the rice now we had 20 we gonna about say 29 dollars with the rice right and what other side did I say? Fries, rice. No, I said rice and beans, dirty rice. Sorry, sorry, I said dirty rice. You can get the dirty rice in the pack at Walmart for about $2. Sorry, excuse me, Zatarans, the most expensive Zatarans box that I see is $3.49. So we gonna go with, we gonna go with that box i don't know 349 we gonna go with the dirty rice from walmart for 349 so we at we not even at 29 dollars no more we only at about 26 dollars now and we got both of our size and our chicken we at 26 dollars now we got both of our size and our chicken and we still got some chicken left for another meal okay 26 dollars family meal at popeye's 45 we had 26 dollars and we already got leftovers and more chicken to cook for another meal so now we're gonna go to the potatoes because i bought potatoes um about two and a half weeks ago and i just now ate the rest of them last night for a whole another meal um now we go to the potatoes a good bag of potatoes is going to be about in between it's in between four to seven dollars for a good bag of potatoes so we're going to do six dollars for a bag of potatoes i don't know i'm just putting that out there we're going to do 550 for a bag of potatoes yeah no, we're going to just do $6. We're going to do $6, okay? So we add $26 with it, right? Now we added six more dollars for our potatoes. And mind y'all, this is the last thing that we get in. But wait, there's a kicker. We thought this was the last thing we get in. We had $26. Now we add our potatoes for six more dollars. Now we had $32, right? Yeah. Now we had $32, y'all. 32 when Popeye's family meal, 16 pieces, three sides, and the biscuits was 45. We had $36 and we still, oh, sorry, we had $36, but we need biscuits. Sorry, hold on, hold on. But mind y'all, we can make homemade biscuits and I'm pretty sure you already got flour at home. But just in case you don't, let's buy some flour.
let's buy some flour. All right, y'all. So flour is four twelve. Um, we had thirty six. Four twelve, forty twelve. Now we have forty twelve. We got the biscuits. And now I'm just gonna throw in butter. We just gonna throw in butter because all you need to make your biscuits, I would I ain't never made no homemade biscuits, so don't be judging me. I would think that you only need flour, water, and butter. So maybe some oil, I guess. All right, so we're going to buy some butter from Walmart. We buying, we buying cheap butter. All right, $4, $4, four $4. So we already at $40.12. Now we adding butter for $4. Now we're at $44. $44 and some change. We still under $45. Now, mind y'all, that $45 was a guesstimate. I personally think it would be at least $47, but whatever. We had 44 and we got everything that we needed. Plus, excuse me, because we're at home making it, we know like how to dish it out. Ain't nothing gonna go to waste. We got flour left over for another meal. We got chicken left over for another meal. I'm pretty sure we got more fries left in our freezer now for another meal. We got more rice to last us two months. Now we don't gotta buy rice for two months. And if I really wanted to, now I can buy me something to drink at the store. Even though, yeah, it's going to be over $45, but the point is that you still got more bang for your butt when going to get this stuff because you still have stuff left over to make a whole nother meal out of all of the stuff you bought. So that's how you can save your money, y'all. I'm just saying. Also, budgeting. Budget y'all sales. That's why a grocery list is important. You can sit down there and write the numbers on it and all that stuff. Like you can literally do this. Y'all can do it. Just change up some habits that you might have that you that is hindering you from saving. Like having you in that mindset that buying groceries is more expensive than eating out, that's horrible. Like I feel bad for some of y'all that feel that way because that means you just not buying the right stuff. Just change up. Um, some of the stuff that you do, some of the stuff that you buy, how you cook it, change up how you look at leftovers. Like, if you're just not a leftover person, then that's just you. Like, you just got to deal with the fact that I got to spend more money and I need to find a way to make more money. That's a problem that you're going to have to deal with. But if you are a person that can eat leftovers, eat the leftovers, bro. <laughs> if you are a person that don't need a five-star meal every single night and you can eat you some rice or some oatmeal for dinner and go to bed do that now i ain't telling you to mess up your diet and all of that i want y'all to eat healthy because i'm working on eating all the way healthy but i'm literally giving y'all ideas of how to stretch your stuff like you can stretch so many things so get them pretzel <laughs> for a snack peanuts um chips Popcorn, these are snacks, y'all, that would actually last. Now, y'all can help me out because I don't know too many other snacks that's going to last. Well, you got trail mix, um, different things like that. The animal cookies, I used to f*** them up. And it's still fire. Animal cookies, um, yeah. But yeah, y'all, and I'm done rambling, <laughs> but but I do hope that this helped y'all figure out how to save money and what to do. Another thing, I have another gem for y'all. I don't even know if I'm doing that dance right. Oh, I am. Hey. I used to be a dancer. 
<laughs> like a choreographer in my past life. Anyway, y'all. All right, I want to show y'all this thing. <laughs> y'all was in my vent session where it was like mini hair chronicles and stuff like that. I was sitting on the floor. That was a good vent session. I definitely had some transparency moments with y'all in there. And I told my story about my hair life, my hair, everything. So y'all know y'all girls on the journey of regrowing her hair right now. And I just want to just share some products with y'all that I have been using that have really been helping me out. And I have been seeing growth. Okay. Okay. So y'all. I was done trying stuff. But. I guess I wasn't. Because I'm back trying stuff. Okay. So I'm trying the Kaleidoscope products. These are how they look. This is the conditioner, and it's the Miracle Drops Conditioner, Moisturizing Conditioner with Coconut Milk and Honey, infused with her Miracle Drops. So this is how it looks, y'all. Hopefully y'all can see that. And I have the shampoo upstairs. Sorry, I didn't bring it. I used it last night, and I already had another bottle of conditioner left in there. And this is my new bottle, but my shampoo already up there. It already was used because I washed my hair last night. And then I have some leave-in conditioner. This is how it looks. I really hope y'all can see that. And this leave-in conditioner is Miracle Drops Leave-In Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner Coconut Milk and Rice Water, also infused with Miracle Drops. Then I have a hair mask. I've never done a hair mask in my life, so hopefully this works for me. This is how it looks. I hope y'all can see that. I'm sorry if y'all can't. But I'll try to remember to link it for y'all. But this is the Miracle Drops 3-Minute Mask Restorative Hair Mask, Coconut Milk, and Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Also infused with Miracle Drops, repairs, and helps support strong, healthy hair. And then I have my Miracle Drops. I already have some upstairs, but that's about to be gone soon. So we had to re up on that thing because it works. This is the first... Hold on now, um, girl. Y'all gotta make sure it's closed. Oh, y'all, now, they done gave me a defective bottle, Lord. Lord, they done gave me a defective bottle, Lord. <laughs> I'm not gonna play with y'all. Look at me trying to help promote them and my bottle defective. Anyway, y'all, I've been using, these are the Miracle Drops. This is how they look. Um... I have been using this for about a good two months now. Oh, okay, I'll say consistently for about a month now. Okay, and these drops work. Now, normally these growth things that people be selling and stuff, it don't work for my hair. Like that wild growth oil everybody said was working for their hair, no. When I tried that wild growth oil years ago, that thing broke off my hair. My hair was brittle and dried in the damn... <laughs> I don't even know, but it was dried in the desert in Las Vegas, baby. It was dry, okay? Brittle, crack, crack, crackling off, okay? So I don't promote wild growth oil. I, I don't like that. That Dr. Miracle, I ain't never tried it, but mm -mm, I ain't trying it. But this Miracle Drop stuff, y'all, I literally have seen an increase in growth in my hair for real now with the drops you're supposed to use them three to five times a week i fell off like two weeks ago i ain't gonna lie but it didn't make my hair break off you know like a lot of people products that you be using when you stop using their stuff it like makes your hair break off and stuff like that like you gotta constantly use their stuff but this she did she did what she had to do and she knew what she was doing that's just what it is like you can tell that she really, really used her product before she just sold it. And that is important. Anyway. So, yeah, I just wanted to do that quick unboxing with y'all and show y'all that. My new goodies, what I've been doing to grow my hair. And I will keep y'all posted on my growth. 
Another thing that I wanted to share with y'all, because we are talking about saving and money and food and how to shop. I was supposed to show y'all my phone, but my iPad ran out of storage, so. Y'all, I've been watching this YouTuber that I love her. Um, her name is Gina Janine, so if you do want to follow her, definitely follow her at Gina Janine on YouTube. Uh, she kind of like an auntie type of type thing. like. So I call her TT Gina, period that's my tt <laughs> but no nah, she has been talking about this app called fetch rewards which i'm pretty sure y'all have heard of this before but i really had to check it out for myself because you know what like i've been into this real savings thing i got going on and if you know me you know when i start saving maybe i save and i don't be playing those games so why not use all of the things that can help you save to save so, especially when it's free. So, I downloaded Fetch Rewards. And basically, what Fetch Rewards is, y'all know, this is not sponsored. I wish, maybe. <laughs> but what, what Fetch Rewards does is you can scan any of, your, um, any of your receipts and you can get um, coins. Like, you can earn points for it. Points. You earn points for it. And when you get to 10,000 or more points, you can like trade in your points for like gift cards and stuff like that. So the 10,000 points equates to $10. So if you get 10,000 points, you can get like a Starbucks, a Target gift card. You can get a gift card to like anywhere. I wish I could show y'all a few of the places, but my phone, I'm recording on it. But yeah, so like when you get to that amount of points, you can do whatever you want with it. And that's like free money. Who doesn't want free money, y'all? So I'm telling you, watch. Y'all won't be like, oh, since you weren't playing. I wasn't playing. <laughs> I was not playing. Y'all. So this is all of the receipts that I did when I first started. Y'all. I got... 8,224 points already and I only started scanning points since like last week and y'all I got more receipts that I've been saving and I'm gonna scan these today <laughs> all my new receipts and all my old receipts I scanned these and I have 8,224 points. I mean, I'm only like 1,800 something points away from my first 10,000 and getting me a free gift card that I can use at Target or at Starbucks. And y'all know I'm going to Starbucks. You already know. <laughs> now, I might go to Amazon with it because I got a stuff. Got a stuff. I got stuff I need off Amazon and I already still have a $35 gift card from my job for Amazon as well. So who not gonna run up the free money? Who? Cause I am. Run it up y'all. Download the app and make sure y'all use my code so that we both can get some coins, free money, so we can be living it up. So here is my code so that you guys can refer me. Um, again, download the app, it's called Fetch Rewards. That's F as in Frank. E-T-C-H, Rewards. It's orange and white, and it has a little dog leaping. <laughs> so you can't miss it. But my code, my referral code is D as in David, W as in Washington, J as in Joy, G as in Godly, 9 as in the number, and 5 as in the number. So again, D W J G. Nine five. That is your girl's code, referral code. So definitely plug up, plug up, plug in so we can get this money. But all right, y'all. I love y'all. I got to go. I'm just rambling now, but I really wanted to show y'all that. And I'm trying to record my other video. So yeah, I got to go, y'all. Um, prayerfully, I record the other video because your girl, I'm trying to push myself. That's all I've been doing. Because y'all know when auntie come in town, Child. anyway anyway you guys i love you guys stay blessed i hope you guys have had a great sunday a happy sunday i hope you guys reset today for this week that is about to start 
don't let that devil get you down. Don't let him come around, baby. Um, if you are getting attacked, that's because your elevation is just becoming greater and greater. So don't get discouraged. Keep fighting your way up to the top because um, we're going to make it. Keep breaking doors down, those barriers down. Keep walking with God by your side humbly and courageously. And like I always tell you guys, stay safe, stay blessed. And as always, keep rising. Love you guys. Peace.